Are you getting a holiday or no holiday? Uh, as I told you on the on the previous week, the work is first. If I need, I still have to work. I will be working. Work is always work is always first you for me. I take uh, yesterday. I, I took a day off, yeah, and I went to the party with all the stuff. Ah, right, okay. Um, just looking back on uh, the midweek game, um, there was reports. Obviously, you came in after the game and spoke about the relationship with Derek, and then there's now reports that you you had a long chat with him after the game. Is that correct? Did you? No, we just have a very good glass of a fantastic Portuguese wine. And with a fantastic glass of Portuguese wine, everything stays clear. So that's what really matters. So the relationship between the two of you is, is good and respectful? Yeah, as usual. As should be. Not only with me and him, with, with all the managers in the world. Before that, you had suggested that perhaps he was wanting to be in your position. I told you, one glass of wine, one glass of wine clarify everything. So. It's done and it stays everything in my office. What's private is private. Did, during the conversation, did you discuss Ryan Jack? What's private is private. I mean, we had a fantastic glass of wine. Do you want me to take you the brand of the, of the wine? I can, give, I can give you that. Because the guys are sponsoring me, I can do it. But the conversation is going to be difficult. But I can invite you one day to, uh, to taste it. I can do it. That I can do. Have, um, has the club approached Ryan Jack to speak to him about a free contract? We are working. We are working on that. Again, youth system, Scottish players, international players, our own players. Do you then, in, in terms of the players that you want to bring in here, would you expect there to be new arrivals here or confirmed signings before you come back here in a couple of weeks' time? Mm -hmm. Before I leave, if I have time to leave. Yeah. Some of them, yeah. Is Bruno Alves someone that you will be bringing here as well? Bruno Alves is a great player. But you won't That's confirm whether or not you're going to sign him? I'm not going to confirm you nothing. You may try all, all morning, maybe you end up by uh, having, having a good dinner with a good Portuguese wine as well. The Would you like to sign him? Would you like to sign him? Him, Ronaldo and Messi. I would like to sign them. The chairman says he's going to face a lot the, the season ticket money in the team. Have you been given a figure? Are you happy with what you can bring in? Of course. We have all the, all the picture regarding to what we want and we are working on it and we expect to have it as soon as possible. And, and when we have it, for sure, we will going to present it to you. Yeah, do you have a, a, a clear idea of how many will be leaving, how many? Clear idea? I have a total clear idea, not only a clear idea. I have the old picture. Have you had um, more discussions with players about their futures? Will you wait till after the uh, Not at the moment. I will do it tomorrow to, to finish that process. Yeah. And you say obviously you want players in before you come back for pre season training. It's, it's, not very, yeah. it's not a very long window. Do you, do you no, expect, no, no. Do you expect there will be players who maybe arrive later in depending, June? July? Depending on the of each one of the players' situation at the moment, I mean, with the, with the compromises that they may have at that moment. Beside that, I want all the players to be here, of course. Will that influence your decision, maybe on some players, if you can get them in earlier, that you will go for them rather than wait because of the European competition, you want to be strong? We want to start with, with all the squad uh, organised, according to what we have on the picture, on the fifth. We have some cases that maybe are depending in other situations, but they will be um, too quick with us after, after that day. Did Wednesday's game tell you anything that you maybe didn't know about your team and, the, I guess, the did comparison you watch, that your team has to Aberdeen, who are your Did you watch our lineup? Oh, well, yeah, but... So? No. Rangers always look to be first. Rangers always look to be the best team in the country. Rangers want to be big again, and that's what we are working. We are not worried about the second position. We are worried about being the first ones, and that's what we are working. We know that it's costing a lot of time and work and resources and everything, but that's what we are working. 
when we came here, we know what sort of deal you know, or a massive job we, we need to do. And we are doing it. And believe me, if the things are going on this right direction, next season will be totally different. I'm not doubts about it. No doubts about it. When you say totally different, you mean... Totally different is totally different. Not it's just personnel, team. but obviously in terms of improvement of performance then. Winning. Winning. If I need to win games, even the performance is not that good, I prefer to win games. And Rangers is to win. Of course, if you can add the performance with the results, brilliant, fantastic. But when I say everything needs to change, everything needs to change. In terms of the European campaign, what are your expectations for that? Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting question. I just ask our boys to pass me the report about how many teams since the last seven years, seven, eight years, get to the group stage, getting on the first qualifiers. And we have a couple of them, so we are not going to be the first ones to, to get it. But that's our goal, of course to get on the, on the group stage, knowing that is not going to be an easy task. But we know that others did it. So even on last season, uh, when when uh, one team did it, when Israeli team did it, why we cannot sing the same way? That's, that's always our ambition to win. This club needs to sing like that all the time. We are, a bi we are big. We need to sing big. Do you have, though, do you think that you will be able to build a squad that's strong enough to do well in Europe at the start of the season when you will want to be getting off to a really good start in the we league? Need to, we need to, of course. We are bringing and we are trying to build one squad that is totally identified with, uh, with the, this such a massive club. Everyone needs to know what it means to represent Rangers and what it means to play for Rangers. When you are talking about performance, players that are here, or they are they are going to arrive here on the, our squad. They need to understand that one single pass, one single action in this team is counting. They are getting assessed by that. So, and that's what leads to, to win games. And those are the sort of players we are, we are looking for to bring over. You've been here for a short time, but do you feel you've been making progress in the time you've been here? I'm feeling that uh, someone that is under this position needs to be assessed since the very beginning. And I know that is happening. If you ask me if I'm concerned with that, not at all. If you ask me that you are expecting to add better results or uh, to win more matches until now, totally, always like that. But if you ask me, my main task in, in that short period of the time was coming here and assess to take the best decisions, the best conclusions, and get uh, start doing the work we need to get to another level. I will say definitely yes. You're, you're a clear idea of where you're going. I'm a clear guy. I have a clear mind all the time. I know exactly where I want to go, but where the club, where I want to take the club as well. That's the most important thing. Not just myself, but all these people are working in this massive club as well, and of course, all the fans supporting us. How important is it you sign off this season with a win on Sunday? I always say that maybe the last image is the one that stays, and because we always want to win, and it's important always to, to finish a season with, uh, with a different image, and of course, winning a match. And that's the reason why I was so enthusiastic on the training session until the last day, like, like the first one. I need to have that enthusiasm to pass that enthusiasm for, to the people that works with me and that motivation and that will and that desire and that passion, of course. What do you expect from St. Johnson? I expect the same that we watch them playing all the time, a very strong team on long balls, very strong team in second balls. One team waiting for some sort of mistakes to get quick transition and quick counter-attacks. So that's what I expect from them. So we need to be clever to know how to perform against these teams. And we are struggling uh, in order to know how to understand and perform against these teams that take out the ball from us and play long balls and get stronger on the second waves and on the second ball. So we need to find a solution to, 
to face them, which is having the ball rather than give the ball to the opponent. Do you have any team news at all where you bring young players in Sunday to them? They are on on since long time since we arrived. Now they had the chance to play and maybe a couple of them where we will be starting the game on Sunday. More than than on Wednesday.